Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, I want to talk about modern data pipelines and how to build one. I want to show you a sh small demo in this video and of course we'll have a deep dive, uh, complete hands-on session as well. Here I'm showing you a modern data pipeline where uh, you may have several databases and you want to bring data into the data lake in a streaming manner. For this, we are going to leverage DMS. I have a Aurora Postgres setup. I'm capturing insert, update, deletes via AWS DMS. I'm broadcasting all these events in near real time, basically into a Kinesis data stream. Once the data is in the Kinesis data stream, we, uh, we are using Apache Flink. Uh, so again, Kinesis data analytics in there, we're going to use a studio notebook and we're going to spin up our Flink. There, we're going to read the data from the Kinesis uh, we are going to transform the data and then we are going to insert that into the S3 or transactional data lake or Apache hoodie uh, tables. Again, these days data is growing and so is basically more and more people are trying to adopt uh, streaming solution. Uh, so uh, there was a video that I saw was long live streams, right? So basically, let me show some amazing streaming solutions here. So allow me to share my screen. So for this, basically, I want to walk you over the architecture as I was as I was saying. Uh, your insert update deletes are happening on an RDS. Uh, again, I'm using Aurora and I'm capturing that using DMS and they have been broadcasted to the Kinesis. The Flink is going to basically, or, or Kinesis data analytics, the Flink is going to read from the Kinesis and directly perform an upsert on the data lake. And this is a complete pipeline that I'm about to show you. So if you observe here, I just want to show you, I have my Aurora database here, as you can see, Aurora Postgres. Here I have my uh, DMS, right? So if you observe, I have a replication instance, I have endpoints, here is my source, here is my target. Here is my Kinesis data stream, right? Which essentially uh, receives, um, you know, events, if you observe here, right? Uh, let me show you one of them here, this one. So again, this is the Kinesis data stream, which will receive those events anytime an insert, update, or delete happens on the data database. And once that happens, here is my Flink application. So here, I'm gonna show you, of course, in a second, uh, you're gonna start performing upsert on the data lake. But again, this is streaming solution. We are not doing batch oriented. We are essentially processing streaming data and performing upsert straight into the, the, the data lake using uh, Flink. So let me show you um, I have now a demo, right? So let's get ready for a demo, guys. It's gonna be an amazing demo. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm on my, uh, you know, uh, Zeppelin notebook, and I'm essentially gonna stop this job here, and I'll basically try to walk you step by step what I'm doing here. So if you observe uh, in my Postgres, I have a table called Sales. Observe here, right? I have a table called Sales. So again, now the data basically gets inserted into the Kinesis data stream, right? So here, if you observe, uh, the data comes in an entity called data and all the metadata comes in the entity called metadata. So what I had to do is basically the first step is I have to create these glue tables. So here you can see source table, I'm creating a row object and here I'm defining um, the columns and their corresponding, um, uh, you know, whether it's an integer, bar chart, whatever, etc., etc. Here I'm using a connector called Kinesis, as you can see. And this is the stream that I'm essentially listening to. Just to show you first, what I'm gonna do, um, again, I'm gonna do lay layers here. You can also do trim horizon. So quickly, I'll essentially copy this and I'm gonna change this to layers for now. So I'm gonna execute this cell. And what I do anticipate here is, uh, again, as you can see, the tables have been created. Now I'm gonna run this particular code, again the SQL code, and I'll show you what this does. So now anytime I update anything on the database, again, um, I'm connected to my Aurora Postgres using PG admin, right? So now observe this, so let's say, so I'm gonna say hoodie says hello, and I'm gonna observe this. The moment I click that button, I should, I, I should be seeing the data here. So I click here, observe that. 1653780 hoodie says hello and essentially i inserted the data into aurora so that data was captured by dms um, so the changes was identified and then it was broadcasted to kinesis and the flink is processing real time now absolutely great guys fantastic so if you observe here i also have um, a sync connector here as you can see sales hoodie again same thing i've defined my data type i have essentially defined 
the connector over here observe carefully right so here i'm saying the connector sod i'm defining my data lake path i'm using a more version right and now what i can do is i can stop this one again i just want to show you right so for example if i do this one and again this is real time happening okay this is real time oh somel says and if i actually want to say somel says hello and if i now click okay and if i now click on save observe this i should be getting that data here shortly there you go see so it's absolutely flawless again with this approach now you're delivering data within less than 3 minutes there is no batch oriented you don't have to wait for your data for an entire day so great right so i'll click i'll click on pause now again it's pretty straightforward so i have paused it i have basically cancelled it and now here you can see i'm saying insert into sales hoodie and i'm essentially giving the select clause right now when i run this what's going to happen uh, if you observe i'm going to start this now here is in the running state right now any time i insert any time i update something right now if i again do this now what's going to happen is now it's going to start performing absurd as you can see in my data lake i have my huri mera data and these are my base file if i refresh again as you can see right so what we have just done is basically now we have developed a complete end to end pipeline for streaming solution anytime anything is inserted updated deleted and at the same time we are processing those streaming data and then we are performing absurd into the data lake uh, which is apache huri i will definitely do a complete deep dive video step by step where anybody or beginners can learn how to set up all these up right uh, how to write code how to write infrastructure code etc 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 so expect around 30 to 40 minute long video which will definitely talk about every single step uh, for sure but yeah i just wanted to show you man um, you know previously you know like 6 7 years back we didn't have that much power but nowadays with cloud uh, we have the power of cloud right we can leverage um servers uh, right and we can essentially process streaming data here i have showed you this think about it in my previous video i essentially did streaming atl on two dynamo db tables using flink of course so flink is very very popular and i guess it's very trending for streaming uh, um, for basically doing um, you know etl on streaming data and i have certainly started exploring i've certainly started playing and i'm going to create more and more videos for you thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys are excited about this amazing project that's coming up uh yeah so basically you're going to learn everything about you know hoodie flink dms kinesis there's a lot you can learn here right so this is the entire pipeline that we are about to develop And yeah if you are excited if you have any question list your question in the comment box below and I'll try my best to answer it Again Flink uh, can also do uh, streaming joins with um, streaming data versus data that you have in S3 or any other tables you can use JDBC connector and then do ETL the possibilities are pretty flawless what you can do with Flink So thank you so much for watching hope you have enjoyed hope you have seen an amazing application here how we are real time um, capturing these changes and performing absurd into the hoodie data lake and i'll see you guys in the upcoming next video where we will do a deep dive video thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the upcoming next video